Hello, um, I'd just like to take a few minutes and, and talk about sweet corn. I actually think sweet corn is uh, one of the most versatile veg that there is. Um, obviously you can eat the cobs in the normal way. Um, you can take the kernels off uh, and then use them for making sweet corn fritters and things. Um, obviously if you dry the kernels, uh, you can then grind them up uh, and make corn flour. Um, certain varieties you can use for uh, popping, making popcorn. Pop, home, homegrown, homemade popcorn is just absolutely fantastic. Um, other varieties, you don't even let them get to the point of pollinating and you eat them as the little baby corn, fantastic for stir fries, everything like that. Um, commercially, they're now even using um, a derivative from sweet corn or from corn flour to make a biodegradable clear cellophane that you see on some sandwich packets and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just think it's a fantastic vegetable. Very, very easy to grow, um, provided you follow a couple of rules. Um, and really, the, the most important rule is temperature. Temperature, temperature, temperature is all I will say. Um, and the critical thing there is so many people try to be early with their sweet corn. They sow them too early. They end up with leggy plants that are useless to go out. They put them out too early. Uh, and the sweet corn just sits there, doesn't grow away very well at all. Um, sweet corn is a grass so it will grow very very quickly um, and with many things in nature you tend to find that if you're actually a little bit later in sowing nature will catch up and it will catch up far far better than if you sow early and let things struggle and drag and then put them out too early and they're struggling in the cold so it's one of those things that you want to leave um, as late as you can really uh, we start sending out sweet corn here from the nursery about the beginning of May um, and I'd like to think that's for people who are then going to pot it up, which is something we do with our own sweet corn before we plant them out, so we get a larger plant before they go out. If people do put it out sort of the middle of May or whatever, unless you are very, very far south, and of course we are in the southeast of England, it's too cold. Um, this year we are now at the beginning of June, and we're still getting nighttime temperatures of 6 and 7 Celsius, which is, is just chilly, chilly. And Sweet corn doesn't like it and it won't grow away well. Um, saying that, we're planning to actually plant our sweet corn out over the next couple of days. We're keeping an eye on temperature, so we may either cloche them or fleece them at night if, if we think it's going to be particularly grotty. So, what do you do with sweet corn? Very easy. Uh, if you're buying it from seed, um, we tend to sow into modules. It's not one of those things that I think about sowing at all direct into the garden. Um, going back to that temperature thing again really. Um, what we do here on the nursery is we sow two, they're just dried up little tiny um, kernels, that's all they are, and we sow two per station into our module trays. Now I'm, I'm not going to sit here and, and sow a whole tray, but that's what we would do, is we, we sow our, our trays and trays of these, uh, give them a good drink, we don't give them any basal heat or anything like that because the greenhouse temperature um, is fine for germination. And then after about week 10 days, you should end up with plants like this. Um, they grow, as I say, they, they germinate quite quickly uh, and they grow very quickly. So from this sort of size, we will then um, let them grow on for another week to ten days and, and that will be the sort of size that we'll be dispatching out which I guess they're sort of about six inches um, that's 15 centimeters in height uh, quite a nice root plug these ones here if I squeeze one out I've got another few days before they'll be going uh, or going out um, and they're too small to go into the garden at this point so yeah we, we give them another another week and they'll be the sort of plants that are going out at the moment I haven't actually got any in here now because we're we're holding them back. We're growing batches and we're holding them back, and we've got them outside in a in our frame area. So I haven't got any of the plants that are going out now. Um, but if your temperature's good, they're fine. They can go straight into the garden, uh, and you want to be planting those um, about 15 inches apart, which is 40 centimeters, um, in rows that are um, 18 inches apart, 45 centimeters. And you always grow sweet corn in blocks um, because sweet corn is wind pollinated. So a single row of sweet corn won't pollinate as well as if you if you grow a block. Um, the only variety you don't need to worry about doing that with are the varieties that you use for um, um, mini pop. 
uh, and bits and pieces like that, the, the baby sweet corn varieties, uh, because obviously they're not going to pollinate. So you don't actually need to worry about pollination there. So single row, put it down the side of a path. You can even do all sorts of thing, funny things if you've got kids and, and do little squiggly paths that they can run up and down. Um, kids like sweet corn, of course, when they eat it, but they, they also love it as a plant because it grows so quickly. Um, so it's a little bit of fun. But what we do with our sweet corn here, uh, going back to that temperature thing, is we've got our plants and then the, the next thing we do before we plant them out um, is we pot them up. So plants behind me are, are the ones for our own vegetable garden and for the nursery vegetable garden. And uh, as I say, we're at the beginning of June today. And these were sown um, the first week of May. And then two weeks ago, these were potted up into these seven centimetre pots see a little bit of roots coming out the bottom. Uh, they've rooted quite nicely, a little bit of spin going on in the corners, that's no harm. A lot of people say that sweet corn shouldn't get too root bound uh, and shouldn't be getting as bad as this, but personally I don't think it causes a, a problem provided it doesn't go mad and you do end up with a complete solid block. But once again if you do do that, a bit of gentle tearing and everything will be fine. Um, and as I say, for our, ourselves, we pot our plants up uh, and hold them for a few more weeks. So we're now at the beginning of June, which traditionally is when we plant them out. Um, but as I say, this year we, we've got some cold temperatures, so we may hang on another week. Um, we'll see what's going on in the next few days and, and probably get these out tomorrow, I would think, because um, temperatures have lifted a little bit. Um, and as I say, once again, these will be planted 15 inches apart in rows 18 inches apart. Um, at the depth they are, or just a little bit below. Uh, some people like to uh, earth up round them once they get going. Uh, sweet corn does stem root a little bit, so you can do that, but I wouldn't go too mad with them. Lots and lots of water. Um, if we get cold nights, chuck a bit of fleece or something over them. If we get strong winds, protect them with some fleece or something until they really get going, because uh, you really need them to get going and grow away beautifully. Once, once the weather does cheer up, if it's going to this year, you won't have any problem at all and you'll get a bumper crop in the autumn and they really are just a fantastic fresh plant, uh, fresh fresh veg to have. It's To me, it's almost as good as asparagus in, in being one of those things that you've got to eat straight from the plant. Um, but that is about it, really. Um, that's sweet corn. I'm just going to show you about growing them under cover, under protection as well, which is something we do. So we'll we just pop over there in a moment. But that's sweet corn, start to finish. Wonderful crop. Can't recommend it enough. So as I said, we're going to plant out our sweet corn tomorrow uh, outside. Um, all being well, the weather being okay. It's still a bit cold, but uh, it's now 1st of June and and they need to go out, the ones in the pots that I've just shown you really do need to go out and we, we don't want to really pot them up again. But one thing I would like to show you is this. This is sweet corn that we're growing in our tunnel. We always grow a small crop of this um, because it gives us just a few tasty cobs earlier in the year. These should be ready about mid-August-ish. Um, as I say, once again, temperatures have been low, night temperatures have been low, even in this tunnel. But judging by how they're growing now, I should think that would be mid-August. So these were actually started from exactly the same plants I've just shown you, um, the smaller plants, not the potted on plants, uh, and these went straight into these 12 litre containers uh, the first week of May. Uh, and we are now, as I say, the, the 1st of June today, and you can see what sort of growth they've put on. I mean, it is completely astonishing. They have gone from being four inches tall to way high. Um, it's really quite incredible how quickly they grow. Same technique as we we'll use outside, we're growing them very tight together. Um, we will actually space these now that they're providing enough protection for each other. We'll, we'll give them a little bit of space now, um, but as soon as they run up and they start to flower, we will squash them back together. And because they're inside, the only thing you have to do different is hand pollinate them, which is very, very easy. Um, so if you imagine, these will be way up this high. Um, they will have the, the conventional flower tassel on and all you will need to do is give the stem a really good shape. The pollen will go everywhere uh, and we do that for a period of about a week to ten days, every day until, until you see no dust come off, no pollen come off. Uh, and that will be fine. And that will give you delicious sweet corn um, middle of August-ish. And um, 
can't be better. You have a, have one hit of it in August and through to the beginning of September, and then you're followed up with the rest. So, yeah, if you've got room in your tunnel or your greenhouse, do put a little block in. Um, it is such a worthwhile thing to do, and it, it will really guarantee you a crop, especially with some of our more northern gardeners. Um, who can have problems. We obviously have the variety Seville, which is fantastic for cold temperatures. Um, but even so, um, as I've mentioned many, many times, cold temperatures, cold temperatures, cold temperatures. That is the real enemy of sweet corn, uh, and this is the best way of getting around it if you are um, stuck with that situation. So um, I think that's about it for sweet corn.